Hey, crystal blessings, everybody. Hibiscus Moon with HibiscusMoonCrystalAcademy.com. And I decided to do kind of an unplugged vlog video. I just realized I'm always wearing this shirt when I decide to do an unplugged vlog video or whatever. Um, or maybe I just wear this shirt a lot. So uh, today, I don't know. I kind of feel like there's a lot of changes going around, um, going on around here anyway. And with um, the Hibiscus Moon Crystal Academy, good stuff, you know, up leveling stuff, growing stuff, growing pains, challenges, and things that you have to work through because change is never comfortable or easy, is it? And um, this has been a crazy week. And I, I need to say I'm so grateful for the Sparkle team, for Michelle who is the tech empress now, and Dawn, who is our sparkle chiefess. And, um, and they, they, you know, just bring so much to the table and I'm so grateful to have teenies like that, that I can rely on. And um, so I'm just feeling like, okay, spring equinox was yesterday, um, a lot of things, happening and things that need to change and maneuver and uh, move around and some of it is so overwhelming that you just go oh I don't want to think about it right now I don't want to deal with it and and you push it aside but you know you have to deal with it at some point you know you got to sit down and get organized and figure it out so um, I'm feeling like rather than going the easy route and changing things minimally, like that this year 2014 is all about mega crazy changes, mondo changes, and just diving in there, doing the work, doing what needs to get done and changing it. And you might be wondering, what does any of this have to do with crystals? Well, it really doesn't. And I was going to rack my brain for a good topic or come up with another snazzy video to put out this week but I just wasn't feeling it. I just wanted to talk to you and not be forced to have to talk about crystals and that kind of thing. Um, I have been using crystals to definitely help me get through these things. Um, and with my spring equinox ritual, that was a big part of it. Um, the crystals are a big part of the meditation and the contemplation that I do around birthing and all of that. Um, I wasn't sure, you know, I have all these little video clips. I wasn't sure what I wanted to put out this week. I, I wanted to be committed to putting out a video every week. Last week I didn't, and because I was still in this mode, and um, wondering what do I want to do, you know? I do still want to continue to put out snazzy videos, but maybe not every single week, you know? Not that I have been doing them every single week before, but maybe doing more personal things, I don't know. I just feel like there needs to be a change in the routine and a change of how I'm doing things. So that's what's on my mind. And not that I really needed to come here on YouTube and bring this to you, but I just felt like I wanted to just share and just talk about whatever. Um, we had a great scholarship contest this go round. I always commit to giving one or two scholarships. I really feel like I'm at the level that I need to give away two now um, each year. But <laughs> last year that grew to four because we just couldn't pick and this year we gave away seven. Seven is like my magic number and I wasn't tied to that number at all. It just so happened that the people that submitted their entries and followed the rules and did everything they were supposed to do and um, then it came down to like, we had like 12 that we really couldn't figure out and we're like, oh my gosh, we need to whittle this down. We need to get this down to a smaller number. So we looked at things like, um, things that we ask people to do, you know, doing the creative bit, ex really expressing themselves in the video, um, getting across to us what they're going to do with this scholarship and also um, you know, really feeling like they were going to be committed to actually carrying that forth through the end. Because sometimes people win the scholarship and, you know, I don't know what happens. You know, life gets in the way, of course, you know, things like that. But some people say, oh, they don't value it because they won it, you know, and it was free. I don't know. We've had some really committed scholarship winners that it was free and you can tell they valued it to the hilt. 
So I don't know that that is always the case. But anyway, um, we also looked for things like creativity, high creativity, and you know, in deciding, you know, when it gets down to the nitty gritty and you're like, oh my gosh, these 12 people are up against each other. How do we pick them out, you know, weed out who deserves and who doesn't? So you look for these small little details. Um, and the other thing was, um, like the last deciding factor was social media sharing. You know, if it came down to two people that were really, really good, neck and neck, and this person didn't share anything at all on social media, but this person did, then those little bitty brownie points were going to push them up and, and get them into the, the front runner and you know win over the other person who didn't share at all. If it was just like neck and neck and we didn't know what to do. That wasn't a huge deciding factor, but if it was like one of those, we definitely use those aspects to whittle it down a little bit. Um, so, but that was a fun thing. That was really great and I like doing that. I love doing the scholarships. Um, I feel like that's putting good, you know, mojo out there into the universe. And it's also getting everybody out there to, you know, go beyond their comfort zone. I know, I know doing, sitting here and doing a video is not comfortable. And, you know, pushing you outside your boundaries, your normal boundaries of what you do routine day to day, like I was talking about before, is a really good way to send out messages to the universe of what it is you want to cultivate, what it is you're trying to manifest, not trying that you are manifesting. And then putting the intention out there and stating it publicly, um, your intentions, really helps to hold you accountable to whatever it is, whatever your goals are. So I've got definite goals this year. I've got things I want to do that I know I've been put here on the earth to do and to share with the other beings on this planet. And I am here to share big time. So it's not just about the scholarships, that's a small little portion of what I'm here to do. I know that, so um, that's that. So <laughs> uh, what else do I have? I think that's really about it. Um, spring is in the air, flowers are blooming, crystals, sacred space is changing around a bit. Today, big time, I have something coming that is going to change my sacred space quite a bit, expand it, um, bringing in a water element. So maybe I'll share that with you a little bit. Also, another cool thing that I hope to be bringing to you in videos is a lot of people have been sending me stuff um, to review, to look at, and not all of it's going to end up in a video, but if it's something that really resonates with me, something that I really know makes a deep, profound change for me, then I'll share it with you. You know, it, it kind of misses the mark a little bit because if things don't resonate for me, they might resonate really, really great with other people, but I can only comment and share with what I know and what I experience and feel. So um, things that really, you know, tickle my fancy and that I'm really loving and that are crystal related, I'll be bringing those to you in videos also and sharing with you that stuff. So that's something exciting and new. So I hope this video didn't bore you. I just wanted to connect and say hi and um, and just kind of check in with you all on a more little personal level. Okay, everybody, have a lovely, lovely day, and I will talk to you soon. Namaste.